The rest of the week ahead, as well as as we work into the weekend, we are watching some more changes. Now, out uh, earlier this week, we were working out of some of those thunderstorm chances and into some warmth. And we're going to keep that warmth still for another day or two with that sunshine and then much lighter winds. We are pulling back those strong winds we've experienced the last few days. Now, as we watch daily sunshine stay in the forecast, we'll extend that daily sunshine into the weekend. But by the weekend, we'll talk about some of those rumbles returning, starting off a bit more isolated. but there could be some more widespread activity possible from time to time. That's also going to bring a little bit of a temperature dip into the weekend, which is going to hold us closer to normal or even below normal at some points. But there seems to be some trends of another round of some push of some warmth and even more 90s as we head into next week. So we're still getting the official high temperatures from our Wednesday. But note that when it comes down to hitting our first 90 degree day, typically as we look across areas, Cheyenne and Rollins as well, uh, there it heads towards the end of June for Scott's Bluff and Douglas typically even end of May, early June. Now, Scott's Bluff already experienced 90 degree earlier this week on June 3rd, but we see that last year, the first 90 degree day came more end of June into early July. So if we were able to reach a June, a uh, first 90 degree day here these next few days, it would be typical to what typically that range is of anywhere from early June to mid July. Now we'll keep an eye on when those official 90 degree days occur, as we know that even records sit in the 90s as well. Low 90s at that. So if we can bump to the 90s or even a touch warmer, may be able to break some of those records. Cheyenne, they're off by, by around 9 degrees though. So we'd have to get a really good push of some warmth to get to that record potential. Something we're watching. But either way, still a very warm day setting up. Starting off at 48, heading to a high of 86. Very summer-like conditions, light winds, and all day sunshine expected. And it is going to be gorgeous for everyone. Watching temperatures head into those 80s area-wide. Laramie at 84 four degrees, Douglas at 85, Scotts Bluff at 89 degrees, everyone holding on to sunshine. Now by Friday, we start to see that one temperature stay the same, the winds stay light as well, but we are starting to watch that some of that thunderstorm risk is in place. We do have a touch warmer temperatures there across the Nebraska Panhandle. Some, so some lift is what we're watching here that could fire up some storms, especially across the Laramie Range, down through Colorado and push into the area. At the moment, severe risk is low. It's not eliminated at the moment as we still have a few days till this day arrives. If there are any stronger storms, that would be mainly the threat when it comes to some damaging wind gusts as well as some larger hail. As we work into the weekend forecast, we see the dip in the temperatures take hold, dropping even to upper 60s by Sunday as we battle more rounds of some of these showers and thunderstorms, clipping us with these little short waves that move into the central plain. So we'll watch these storm chances again. Right now, not looking widespread organized, but daily threats last through at least about Tuesday before another warming trend with some sunshine takes hold end of next week.